Candace Brown and I am a counselor and prevention educator at Better Family Life and I'm so excited to be with you all today and read a very special book that I used to read when I was a child and it is called Gertie's Great Gifts. Early one morning, Gertie the Grungy Goat was sitting on her sofa listening to her favorite radio program. And now, listeners, said Vinny the Vocal Vulture, it's time to play Guess That Tune. If I call you and you can guess the mystery tune I'm playing, the gong will sound and you will win a truckload of great gifts. So listen up, folks, and stay near your phone. Gertie listened as Vinny played the mystery tune. Oh, I know that song, cried Gertie, clapping her hands. How I wish Vinny would call me. Ring, ring, ring. It was Gertie's telephone. She pulled the phone out from under her sofa and wiped the peanut butter off the receiver. Hello there, Gertie, said a happy voice. This is Vinny from Guess That Tune Show. You have 30 seconds to guess the tune we're playing. If you are correct, you'll win our grand prize. Go, go, Gertie. I know it, I know it, cried Gertie. The name of that tune is Goodbye Gorilla. Bong. Golly gee, shouted Vinny. That's the gong. Goodbye, Gorilla, it is. Good for you, Gertie. You just won the grand prize and all your gifts will be delivered today. Later that morning, a big delivery truck arrived at Gertie's house. Gertie's alphabet neighbors couldn't believe their eyes. One by one, they came running over to help carry all the packages into the house. The alphabets watched as Gertie opened her gifts. The first box was full of bottles of shampoo, bubble bath, soap, and toothpaste. Who needs all this goofy stuff, said Gertie. Next, Gertie unzipped a long garment bag. There was a green gown with matching shoes and golden gloves, and there was a hat with gigantic grapes all over it. Oh, exclaims Amy the Exaggerating Elephant. That's the most gorgeous gown I have ever, ever seen. And that hat, it's too, too divine. Just look at those green grapes, they look real. I wish they were real, said Gertie, opening another box. Then we could at least eat them. Everyone was busy looking at the gifts when the doorbell rang. A messenger was there with a special delivery letter for Gertie. Gertie opened the envelope and smiled a great big smile. Oh, goody, 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 she shouted. This is better than all these goofy gifts. What is it, asked Bradley, Bradley the Brave Bear. What is it, asked Monty the Mimicking Mouse. It's a letter from the Alphabet Globe Gazette, cried Gertie. A news reporter is coming here this afternoon to interview me. My picture will be in the newspaper. Katie the Kind Koala looked around the room. Well now, she said, what a wonderful opportunity this is for us all. We can help Gertie get ready for her interview and we can use some of these gifts to do it. Yes, yes, agreed Irby the Happy Hamster. That will be fun. What do you mean get ready for the interview? I am ready, said Gertie. Just wait, said Winnie the Wise Woodchuck. You will see that these are not such goofy gifts at all. Wendy took Gertie's hand and said, some of us will go upstairs and help Gertie get ready and the rest of you can clean up the living room. That way we'll be ready when the reporter comes. Get set for the greatest makeover ever, whooped Emmy, and she ran up the stairs. As soon as they were upstairs, the alphabet scrubbed and rubbed washed and wiped, rinsed and dried, brushed and flossed, combs and curls and clipped and filed. And now for the gown, cried Emmy. Oh yes, it's time for the gown, the glorious black gown, the glittering gown, the shimmering, glimmering, marvelous gown.
While Gertie was dressing, the rest of the Alpha Pets were busy in the living room. They washed and wiped, swept and sponged, sprayed and waxed, buffed and puffed, mopped and polished, and cleared away the trash. When Gertie was all ready, she looked in the mirror. Oh my goodness gracious, is that really me? She gasped. Then Gertie went downstairs. Everything was shiny, neat, and squeaky clean. My goodness gracious, said Gertie. My house is so beautiful. You see, said Perry, it's all thanks to those great gifts you got. And to my good Alpha Pet friend, said Gertie. When the Globe reporter came, she took pictures of Gertie and wrote the story of how Gertie had won all the great gifts on the Guest That Tune program. Your picture will be on the front page of the evening paper, the reporter said. She thanked Gertie for her time, took her camera and notebook, and rushed off. Early that evening, while Gertie was admiring her sparkling house, she heard loud noises in the yard. She looked out and saw crowds and crowds of alphabets waving newspapers and shouting, congratulations, Gertie, we came to celebrate with you. Everyone came running into Gertie's living room, carrying their newspapers along with food and party games. They danced and ate and played for hours. When the alphabets finally left, Gertie looked around her house. There were newspapers, cups, and cookie crumbs everywhere. My goodness gracious me, look at this mess, sighed Gertie as she went to get the soap and mop and vacuum cleaner. It's a good thing I got those goofy, I mean, great gifts. I'll have this place gleaming in no time. I hope you all enjoyed this very special book and I hope to see you all again soon. Thank you for sharing this time with me. Bye.